these are some huge accusations and she said bring the lawsuits i'm okay with it because i didn't lie at all so tell us down below what you think about halima's decision and her blasting un unicef angelina jolie the modeling industry anna wintour and her glasses <laughs> she came for anna wintour <laughs> Halima Aden is exposing everyone from the modeling industry to UNICEF to Angelina Jolie to UN everyone I'm telling you this story is juicy it is juicy stay tuned let me read for you what she wrote on her insta stories that really um literally I think that were that was her way of exiting the industry without Actually, I was going to say without saying a lot, but she did say a lot. Let me tell you what she said. For those of you that might not know her, uh, Halima Aden is a Somali-American model and she's only 23 years old. Halima first made headlines in 2016 when she was the first woman to wear a hijab, a headscarf worn by many Muslim women who feel it is part of their religion in the Miss Minnesota USA pageant. So that's that was her come up. She's been on covers of huge magazines. So she was a big deal and uh, she is still a big deal. This girl has courage, you guys. She tagged UNICEF and United Nations and said, you owe my mother an apology. You owe every single child photographed without written consent an apology. She's talking about, um, you know, she was born in a Kenya refugee camp before she went to the US. So she says that there were lots of pictures that were taken of her and um, other uh, kids that were in the refugee camps for unicef for them to you know how they advertise to you guys on cnn bbc and say help give one dollar and you can feed a kid for a year those kind of ads so she's talking about um what unicef and un are doing in africa in refugee camps you owe every single child photographed without written consent and apology you owe me my childhood photos dig them up and send it my way this is just a start. You owe the world a full audit. We need to know where the money went and where you're currently putting it. UNICEF has been cloud chasing since the time I was a baby. You need to sit this one out. You had your chance and you failed. Allow us to show you what giving back really looks like. No marketing team necessary because the work will speak for itself. And like you, I can genuinely say that children trust me. Don't forget, I went back to Kakuma and asked the kids myself. And then she also wrote, I'm proud to say I've never accepted a single penny from them and I'll never because the only ones who should be benefiting are the children. And then she puts a, a Guardian article that was written that said, UNICEF admits failing with child victims of alleged, you know, the S word, abuse by peacekeepers. So she, she wrote underneath that, I saw so much corruption at the bottom level. My mistake was genuinely believing it didn't exist at the top tire. It's time to retire. Give every single penny to the rightful owners, the world's most vulnerable children. If you need help packing up your overpriced offices, I have a Beyonce song and a list of camps in need of an aid. And she didn't stop there, you guys. She said, they give you a seat at the table, then quickly put duct tape over your mouth. The mistake you made was not following nepotism. We must implement new laws to protect the world's most vulnerable children against the very organizations created to help them. And then she said, UNICEF and United Nations exploited me as a young and vulnerable child. I spoke to Angelina Jolie myself for a Harper's Bazaar piece on humanitarian aid to which she herself confirmed her visit to Kakuma refugee camp. If you did what you all said you did, why was I illiterate until moving to Minnesota? I think MN is Minnesota. My first pair of shoes were thanks to my mom when I was seven. My first pencil was thanks to my fellow child refugee friend. And then she also <laughs> posted Angelina Jolie in adoption scandal from People magazine back in the days. It was written in 2005 and she <laughs> put shady. And then she wrote, my mother saved me from so many attempts of illegal adoption. Please don't be so dismissive and give the biological mom her day in court to speak her truth. I was there when they tried to take me away from my mother. I can confirm that where there's smoke, there is underlying truth. And then she continued about Angelina Jolie. She said, Miss Angelina Jolie, I was among the many children who helped you revamp your career and image. As a UN ambassador, please address this. You owe me this. You owe the world's most vulnerable children an explanation. 
I told you she's coming for everybody. She gave it to UNICEF, gave it to UN, now Angelina Jolie. And then she continues and uh, writes on her stories why she decided to leave the modeling industry. After four miserable years, today I finally got the chance to represent who I've been neglecting all along, Halima. The UN placed my mother and I in handcuff and shipped us off to a concentration camp where my mother was forced to work the fields with zero pay. Child slavery still exists today. The real secret society is hiding in plain sight. What's done in the dark will come to the light. I knew I wasn't going to win as long as Trump was in office, but I made myself a promise that the minute he was out, I would find the courage to speak my truth. Seeing Kamala in office restored my faith in myself, restored my faith in humanity. If I had spoken any lies, go ahead and sue me for defamation, which I will counter sue because no lies have been detected. I'm a smart girl. Society taught me to pick my battles very wisely. I knew I wasn't going to win with Trump, but I know I will win against you. Send me my birth certificate in which your people misplaced, my childhood advertisements in which I had no choice but to participate. I'm gonna do for you what my mother has done for me. Tough, tough love. You won't see it today. Take off those damn glasses, Anna Wintour. <laughs> that was funny. Vogue had the audacity to offer me commission this past week. I'm not taking your money. Pay the black creatives who you've already exploited. Hashtag reparation. And then she went on and on and on. There were more posts, you guys. Like, if I read all of them, I will bore you. But you can go and check them out. People have posted them, retweeted them. So they're, they're there on the internet. So um, she started off by saying, I'm done with this industry. She exposed the industry. She said they were pushing her to become somebody else. And she didn't want to remove her hijab. Um, that was part of her. Even in the first place, she was the first hijab model to make it that big. And she was proud of it. And she said she wanted to represent. But now she said, we don't need your... That's actually her coach. We don't need your representation. And she said she was slowly losing herself when um, they're asking her to do things she's not comfortable with. Though. She said with the photographers, with the, the whole industry entire industry obviously like I understand that it was not programmed to work for everybody else it has a certain group that it wants demographic and they just want to exploit that and I, I get what she I get what she's trying to say and she said now because of you know the pandemic she's been sitting at home and her mom has been pressuring her like you're losing your faith don't do this but now she had time to think about it and she's like it's not worth it why would I lose my soul for this and she finally made the decision to say bye-bye and um, she left in such a high note and to be honest with you I really respect her aside we'll talk about the UN part but aside from everything like how many of us can say we'll say no to Vogue money and all this industry like all this um, modeling campaigns and covers that she's doing she's getting paid but she decided that no money in the world would make me lose my soul basically or sell my soul so she said nope i'm not going to remove my hijab or do things that that won't let me sleep well at night and she chose her peace of mind and her faith and she said no to that and respect to her because i don't believe many people can do that um and i i genuinely respect her for doing that and the other thing is the courage this girl has she was blasting un unicef and she's bringing receipts you guys receipts because she was born in uh kenya you know in the camp even though she's somali she was a refugee in kenya until she went to america and you know pursued this modeling career and everything like that but at that point she was in kenya and she said they would handcuff her and her mom and send them off uh to work for free what she exposed a lot of things we did not know yes it's been, it has been speculated but we didn't hear it from someone that is high profile like her and she went through all that and she said they'll make her take pictures as a baby because they'll use that picture they'll tell her mom go away move aside move aside we want to take a picture of the kid and they'll take a picture of that kid and advertise it to y'all outside world western world and people that have the money to fund they tell them look you're helping this child give us money and that baby already had a, a mom but they're not even giving that money to the baby or the the refugees they'll take it for themselves and she was saying you have all these offices expensive offices why don't you take that and she quoted beyonce to the left to the left and bring that money and let's use it for real aid and that's not what you're doing that takes guts balls to do that she's 
it's scary, you know, to that's that's a big organization she's attacking and bringing receipts to. So I hope <laughs> she'll be okay because, you know, those are really powerful people. But I love her courage, as I said, and I respect her for the decision that she had made. Um, anyways, guys, what did you think about the tea that she has spilled? And these are some huge accusations and she said bring the lawsuits i'm okay with it because i didn't like at all so tell us down below what you think about halima's decision and her blasting un unicef angelina jolie the modeling industry anna wintour and her glasses <laughs> she came for anna wintour so do let us know down below what your thoughts are i am wengil zalalem bringing you the support i'll see you on the next one